What is good to see you squad? Today we're watching Turbo. I don't know what made me want to watch this, but hey, if you want to see more nostalgic movies like this, then make sure to subscribe and like the video. Whoa, that pan down was pretty cool. That actually looked really good for a movie that came out in 2013. Like it actually looked kind of real. I am so excited to rewatch Turbo. I haven't watched Turbo since I was like maybe in middle school. Let's see, 2013, I would have been 13 years old. So yeah, around middle school. View here at the Motor Speedway. In all my years of racing, I've never seen it. Look, I just want to point this out. If you like racing, that is great. That's Fine. I think I tried to watch a racing event once and I was bored out of my mind. I don't find what's so fun about racing. If you're someone who genuinely enjoys watching like NASCAR and F1 racing, let me know in the comments, how do you find it fun to watch? It looks like the winner is Turbo! <sighs> God damn, this looks good. Just look at this frame right here. It actually looks insanely detailed. Also, is that Ryan Reynolds? Please don't tell me that's Ryan Reynolds. Turbocast. Fuck's sake, it's Ryan Reynolds. Holy shit, Samuel Jackson's in this movie? And Snoop Dogg? Michelle Rodriguez? Mark Hamill? What was the budget for the casting of this movie? Holy shit. <laughs> Whoever thought of the movie premise of a snail wanting to be a race car driver is nothing short of a genius. Who would ever think of a premise like this? I actually forgot how Turbo gets his powers. Is their address on their curb? Is that normal? I've been to a few different states and usually they're on the house. Is that like a thing in different states? Turbo, ready to make his move. No, no. Did you see that? I can't believe in 2013 we weren't safe from the Ryan Reynolds takeover. Because lately he's in like everything. Like he was just the voice actor for Mario and now he's going to be the voice actor for Garfield in the new Garfield movie. He's everywhere now. How could anyone not see the appeal of watching a bunch of cars drive around in circles for hours on end? Left turn, left turn. Your ignorance saddens me. See, even he agrees. To anyone who used to own like an Xbox or a PS2, I used to have NASCAR 06. And whenever I tried to race, I would get bored by like lap three and then I would just turn my car around and just just cause complete chaos for the other drivers. Speaking of racing games, the only racing game I ever truly loved, which I'm sure none of you have ever heard of, Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing. Oh, that game was so good. Oh, you are one giant juicy temptress. Mm. Big red. Actually, side note, have you guys ever stepped on a snail before? Obviously not on purpose, but like accidentally. I remember one morning I had to go run out to my car. Oh, dude, I stepped on the slug and oh, it was so gross. My foot was all sticky, guts everywhere. Yuck. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he even trying to stop the tomato? Just let it roll down and stop right there and then push it. Work smarter, not harder. See? Bro, hot on his tail, into the straightaway. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Man, fuck those guys. Back when I used to work my old job, I would do everything I could to make it fun. Like right now, Turbo is doing his job. He's just making it more fun. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get past the work day. I don't feel That was just work abuse. Oh, that tastes awesome. Well How was he constantly drinking that? You would think one gulp would completely fill him. I'm pretty sure if a snail drank like a monster, they'd die. Do me, T, V. <laughs> There's no way that snail is pushing that damn TV. Not even an inch. <laughs> This is sick. You can tell the animators actually had fun doing this. No! Oh, dude, that transition was sick. The green confetti is turning like blades of grass and then like reality starts setting in. That was actually really cool. I gotta give it to this movie. This movie is beautiful. And being made back in 2013, I'm genuinely floored. Oh fuck, am I watching Need for Speed? Also, speaking of Need for Speed, when is that movie franchise gonna die? Aren't they on like their 12th movie or something? <laughs> Oh, 
that driver was awfully chill seeing a snail in the front of that man's car and not only that but also making a facial expression back at him <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god, is that how he gets his powers? He gets drowned in NOS? Whoever thought of this movie and its story, they may have been snorting lines of coke, but they are a genius. <laughs> Fuck off. That's so stupid, but so good. His blood cells turn into fucking wheels and just go faster. What? Oh. That's peculiar. I cannot believe it. I remember Turbo being really fast, yes, but the NOS turned him into a damn car. Get out of here. Quiet! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god. He's an actual car. Fuck off, movie. That is the stupidest shit I have ever seen. <laughs> huh? What? And he leaves tire tracks. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> is this kid on a baby tricycle keeping up with a- With, mind you, a snail that can drive as fast as a fucking NASCAR. <laughs> You get fucked. So sorry. All my life, I've defended you, covered for you, stood up for you. Why is he making it such a big deal that they got fired from their job? You don't have bills to pay. You're a damn snail. <laughs> Whoa, come in. All I can imagine right now is that his, what would you call it, like a snail's under part? I just imagine that getting an insane cement burn. Let's do it! This character has to be one of the most forgettable characters in movie history. I completely forgot all about this character. Honestly, I forgot about most of the human characters in this movie besides the villain. <coughs> Little far from home, aren't you? Garden snail. The fact that they have Samuel Jackson in this movie is fucking bananas. Like, how much money did they have to give Samuel Jackson to be in this movie? <laughs> If this is their version of entertainment, I have no idea. Watching snails race is like watching paint fucking dry. What did you say your name was again? My name is Turbo. And the fact that Snoop Dogg is in this movie, I am baffled that a movie like this has such incredible voice actors and celebrities. Are you tired? Here. I made up your bed. Oh my god, those tacos look so good. I love Mexican food. There you go. Oh, comfy and cozy. Oh, did you just kiss that fucking snail? <laughs> it is so gross. You don't kiss a snail? I'm pretty sure you can get warts from that. Actually, no, that's when you touch a frog, right? <clears throat> Join your crew? Did I say something humorous? If this movie was rated R, Samuel Jackson snail would have definitely ended that with motherfucker. It's so weird not hearing Samuel Jackson swear. Your trash talk is needlessly complicated. Is it? Or is it that your unpaid bills are overdue? Also, the idea of Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson arguing is fucking genius. I would love to see Deadpool and Nick Fury go at it. Fair to be white, shut up! I remember I used to listen to this song all the time after watching this movie. To be honest, as I hear it now, I can see why. It's really good. One Jackson 5 on your feet, one Jackson Poteau. Sure. Knock yourself out. For free? You two seem to have a special connection, little amigo. No world is a human talking to a snail after finding out their snail is a race car. Most humans would probably put it in a cage. Beauty. Why do these snails have teeth? Now that I've noticed it, now it's gonna bother me all movie. Commercials, talk shows, county fairs. Post them on Vine. I know this is before TikTok, but just post them on Vine. Six seconds of him just racing around, boom, you are the biggest creator in the world. Those bros tacos and sushi? That was crazy. What? Oh my god, that sounds so fucking good. Sushi is one of my favorite foods. Now imagine a Mexican restaurant that sells tacos and sushi. Oh my god. 
God. I've been doing a lot of research, and there's nothing in the rules that says a snail can't enter the race. Wait a minute, for real? Is that an actual thing? Could a human technically race in the Indy 500 if they were fast enough? I'm gonna take the movie side and say that's probably true. <laughs> I've never heard Samuel Jackson just laugh like crazy. That's a new one. Huh? Yeah! How is nobody taking a video? It's 2013. Some of them have to have smartphones. Yeah. I'm going back to oh, oh, oh. Did I just say Zoomer? This movie predicted Zoomers before it even came a thing. Maybe I should just settle down, try the vegan thing. No! He keeps running as long as his legs will carry him. I am like the cheetah. Rewatching this, I don't really see him as a villain. I just see him as someone who's super competitive. Whoa! That snail is fast! Yes! If you've watched this movie at any point in your life, you will remember that. Every time. It's now moving fast. You slow, you don't get past. You see him gaining position, but first he won't be last. Oh my god, and even had Snoop Dogg on it too? That's awesome. The nostalgia is just hitting me like a brick wall right now in all fairness if this happened in real life something like this would probably happen just this whole scene is just so iconic i've decided that i simply cannot permit a snail to Please, enter sir. if this did happen in the real world today no way in hell would the ceo say no would you have any idea how much viewership that would bring to a race everyone in the world would watch that that would probably be the most viewed sport event of all time I mean, you can't really blame his brother for being a little worried. Because at the end of the day, he is a snail. So if he gets hit by a car, it's not like a collision. He's gonna die. You're not trying to steal my trophy now from me, are you? Because if you want one for yourself, you may have a long wait. What is with these people and naturally just talking to these snails? Everybody in! It's go time! I just realized, wouldn't racing as a snail be so much easier? Because a snail's probably like, what, a few ounces? Like, yeah, he's going the same speed, but turning would be so easy. Because don't race cars have to, like, somewhat slow down when they're making the left turn part? He wouldn't even have to slow down at all. Welcome to what has become the most anticipated and unprecedented running of the Indianapolis 500. No, not just the Indianapolis 500. This would quite literally be the most viewed thing ever. Why is he driving on the outside? All he would have to do is ride in the inside of the track and he would be fine. That D-Lax so dry! Ha! Ha! Are you crazy? Ow! Yeah, I'm crazy! What made you think I was safe? <laughs> Man, Samuel Jackson is a treasure. Yes! I don't believe what do you mean you don't believe it? He's a fucking snail. Oh, dude, that is so sick. Oh, hell yeah, that shit is dope. I don't care if this is a movie made for kids, that shit is sick. Theo was getting insanely lucky with not getting fucking ran over. I mean, he is stopping on a literal dime. That is an insane maneuver. Going in his tire. Move! Get going! Oh my god, he went to his fucking shell, dude. Why is he in his shell? Just finish the race. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's actually impressive. He's pushing that F1 car on its rims. Oh good god, that kid in the bottom left. That is actual nightmare fuel. I love a man in uniform. For real. <laughs> Does that snail have fucking red lipstick on? Jesus, just end this movie already, please. Go! Have a good rest of your day.